I was just watching a video about Trump and it was, does Trump have a conscience? <laughs> and they had this Dr. Justin A. Frank on there talking about it. And uh, basically they didn't answer that question, but they, he said that, yeah, he's a perennial liar. He thinks everybody's lies. Um, He's got to try to best people all the time, that his dad was a tyrant. That's the way he raised him. And then uh, Trump has been a tyrant with his own kids. So that's basically what he said. Anyway, as they were doing that, I threw the cards and I wanted to see what I got. We're going to have to do this in reverse order because my table's so small I can't lay them out. I had to lay them on top of each other. But this is what I got with it, with Trump that when there's a test, tempest, a difficulty in the cosmos, and the cosmos was turned upside down in this one, um, especially if there's like a fire that happens. So we've got Gaia acting up fires or earthquakes or rain, whatever it is, when it comes for him being able to rush forward He's really in a submissive state, feels caged. You know, he doesn't know what direction to go, basically, okay? He wants to put in like he's, like he's charging forward and gonna do something, but really, he's in a cage, um, doesn't really have a handle on it uh, and things in the world. Um, so, See, what was it that I was just going to say something else about Trump that this guy had said? Anyway, when it comes to obstacles, obstacles of structure, building, building, uh, being able to go through a passage, when it comes to women, strong women, he just wants to quarrel, okay? So he can't get beyond these obstacles, these obstacles and uh, be able to build, build a structure because uh, he really, you know, he, to go forward, he really has a difficulty with women of power. All he wants to do is fight with them, okay? He feels challenged by them. Um, so again, <laughs> we see that with every reporter, every woman reporter, it's your nasty, your this, your that, why don't you put your voice down, it's, you know, it, he's just nonsense, he can't get past that. Next we have water and vulnerability, what well, was vulnerability first that I picked? And vulnerability was upside down again. He, he, uh, and what I got was Trump. Trump, he does not allow any vulnerability to show at all. Um, okay. When he's got his emotions and it's due to um, resistance in the home, okay. So again, that goes back to his dad and all of that stuff. Uh, again, it's when it comes to vulnerability and emotions, water emotions, things that are changing and stuff, he's stuck. And this is my card for Trump. Um, he's got a lot of resistance. Any pushback, he wants to push back 10 times harder and he's gotten that from home from his formative years. And the last thing, which was actually the first thing that I had gotten, was that uh, we have eruption and healing, eruption and healing, that uh, publicity makes him happy. He likes publicity. He likes to be able to get out there and fight, have these eruptions. And um, again, this is from his uh, home life, 
and for him it's healing. He likes to get out there and fight. He likes to get fight. He doesn't like to get bested. Okay. He doesn't like to get bested, but this is like, it was his family life. We got the family there. This was his family life was just arguing. Okay. And just tyranny. Okay. It brings him joy and a sense of healing when he can get out there, get publicity and erupt and, you know, erupt and say his nonsense. So, um, that's what I got on Donald J. Trump when they were doing his psychological profile, so to speak. Um, and I was throwing the cards at the same time to see what I had gotten. You know, he's always like publicity. Um, he enjoys to try to best people and he's really threatened by strong women. <laughs> um, so I don't think he really knows how to best women, but all he can do is erupt every time. Um, when there's a woman challenging him in some way, shape or form, even if they ask a question, he sees it as a challenging of him and his authority and his drama. So women, really have a difficult time interviewing him because he's got a real knee-jerk reaction to everything. Anything she says, he'll have a knee-jerk reaction to, unless she's kissing his behind at every turn. Um, because any other time he feels threatened by that. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll go from there. Please be safe, love and light to everyone. Please, please, please um, continue to take precautions out there. I was listening to some of the, some of the um, Texas talking about reopening. They had the guy out there and, you know, trying to sign, sound positive and this and that. Um, I don't get a good feeling about it. <laughs> Just put it that way, of them reopening. I think it's way too soon. Um, but this guy thinks they've got it all under control. We'll see. Um, I think there will be another spike again a resurgence and uh, we'll have to see. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here and I'll see you online.